guys, this is Taylor and today I want to show you the 10 books that I would really like to get to in 2019 and we're also going to take a look at the 10 books I had assigned myself for 2018. So I make this video every year, I love this type of thing, it's the perfect amount of challenge and regulation in my reading life, but not so much so that it feels daunting. However, we are going to reflect on my 2018 TBR first and see how I did with those books. And I will tell you up front that last year, in terms of this challenge, I would probably categorize as a dumpster fire. It was definitely not the most successful in terms of my yearly TBR. So last year the 10 books I had wanted to read were To Kill a Mockingbird, which I actually liked, Dancing Girls by Margaret Atwood, which I did not like at all and might unhaul. I had wanted to read at least one book in the Lord of the Rings series, I DNF'd and unhauled the entire series, The Cuckoo's Calling by Robert Galbraith, which was okay but I unhauled it, Big Sur by Jack Kerouac, which I hated and will be unhauling, The Country of Ice Cream Star by Sandra Newman, which I liked but couldn't see myself actually finishing so I unhauled it. Wuthering Heights, which I did not like, but let's be honest, I'm not gonna unhaul this edition. Lolita by Nabokov, which I did not get to. Walden by Henry David Thoreau, which I did not like. And Beauty Queens by Libba Bray, which I DNF'd and unhauled. So, um, dumpster fire. So obviously I wanted to not set myself up so much for failure this year. For 2019, I tried to make it a real mix of classics and important books, but also books that I would just pick up on my own time. So without further ado, here are the 10 books I would really like to get to in 2019. My first book is my one carryover from last year and that's Lolita. I'm still really committed to reading Lolita. I think I'll really get on with Nabokov. I didn't end up making time for it last year, but I'm still committed to it. The next book that I had assigned myself for 2019 was Everything I Never Told You by Celeste Ng. And full disclosure, I have actually already read this in January and really enjoyed it, but it was just really time for me to read this book. Everyone in my booktube zip code has read and really enjoyed this. I was almost positive that I was gonna like it, so I figured why keep putting it off, just put it on a TBR already. In a similar vein, the next book that I would like to read in 2019 is Parable of the Sour by Octavia E. Butler. This is another one of those books that I was excited when I first got it. I was excited to keep owning it, but I just never picked it up. And it's just time. It's time for me to read Octavia Butler. I'm almost positive that I'm gonna like this, so why keep putting it off? The next book I want to read in 2019 is A Tale of Two Cities. I'm sure you can see it really well there. This is one of the books on this list that counts as a challenge for me. The only other Dickens that I've read was A Christmas Carol, and I really didn't care for it. So I figured I should give A Tale of Two Cities a shot. It's one of the most widely read books in the world, and if I don't like it, it might be my last Dickens which I'm okay with. Next up, I would like to resume reading The Bluest Eye by Toni Morrison. I was reading this, I was enjoying this, and then I put it down one day and somehow it migrated back to my TBR piles. So I don't really know what happened there, but I'm just gonna start fresh with this one. It's still one of my overall reading goals to read Toni Morrison's entire back catalog, so reading this one should get me back on track. Next up in 2019, I would like to get to Ishmael by Daniel Quinn. I stole this from my high school boyfriend eight years ago, so it's time to read it. <laughs> no, but like I've had this for so long, I'm not gonna give it back at this point. So I might as well read it? Question mark? I would also really like to get to I Know Why the Caged Bird Sings by Maya Angelou. This is a classic memoir that I've never been assigned in school. I've owned it for so long and never picked it up. So again, it's just time for me to read this. I feel like it's so important to so many people. It's a cornerstone of American literature, so it's time for me to give it a shot. I would also really like to read Frankenstein this year. I've always been interested to read Frankenstein, but I've never had a copy. I was waiting for a cheap copy to come into my life, and this extremely ugly, extremely free copy appeared. So I'll probably be reading this in October. I'm so excited to finally have the opportunity to read Frankenstein. The second to last book on this list is The Making of Asian America by Erica Lee. This is the virtually untold story of Asian Americans in the United States, a topic that we don't even touch on in history classes here. I've heard that this book is really going to upset me and make me angry, but something about it was just kind of calling to me when I was making this list, so 
I'm excited to get to it this year. And the last book on this list is the one that I'm definitely the most nervous for. I think this is the one that's going to be the most challenging for me. A while ago I picked up a huge box set of In Search of Lost Time by Marcel Proust and that is a 4,000 page novel that's usually divided up into seven volumes or so. So the first volume, Swan's Way, is the book that is on my TBR for this year. I'm working on truly internalizing the fact that when it comes to series or volumes, I don't have to read them all in one go. I can read them at my own pace. I don't have to make things harder for myself. So I'm going to be attempting to tackle Swan's Way and hopefully this will be a good first encounter with Proust. So those are all the books on my overall 2019 TBR. There are currently people digging out from the ice storm outside. I apologize if you can hear that. But definitely let me know if you have any books that you would really like to get to in 2019. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day and I'll see you soon. Bye!